Some of the projects that Plan undertakes are easy to talk about and others are harder to put into words. Our project in Mali, which tackles female genital mutilation, is one of these. Female genital mutilation, or excision, has been carried out here for centuries. The cutting and stitching up of female genitals has long been accepted practice for girls growing up here. It is justified on the grounds of cleanliness, preserving virginity and enhancing marriage prospects. The reality is very different, with real dangers for girls, hemorrhaging, infection and serious complications during childbirth. Plan has been working with local people in Turela, Mali, to put an end to this practice. Medina Bukum leads this work. In Mali, uh, all the regions and uh, all the ethnics do this practice. And the problem is, in Mali, the rate is very, very, very high. Medina believes trust and time are key to changing attitudes. Former Plan UK CEO Marie Staunton was invited to join as village leaders, community members and young women held a public discussion on Malinese TV station ORTM. Uh, you see in these villages now it is not a taboo to discuss about the issue of excision. It is almost unheard of to discuss FGM publicly here, so to talk about it on television is a really big step. We travel from village to village and excise girls. Now we decided to stop because a lot of girls have died because of you know excision. We understand now that excision is not good. If the past we used to do it, today we have decided to stop. We will definitely stop. Thank you. Local leaders are now speaking out about this issue. With the partnership with PLAN, we have received training and they know a lot of things about excision and they understood that it's not the thing to be done. Nana experienced FGM when she was young. Having experienced the consequences, she's one of the young people leading the campaign to stop this for other girls in her community. We girls want excision to stop. There is danger of loss of blood, of tetanus, of HIV infection. We must stop excision in Mali. In the future, they will definitely stop practicing excision because it is something which is really awful. It should not be done. I am happy to say today, excision will be stopped. It will not be practiced in our community of Turela. With your support, attitudes are changing and plans programs are being rolled out to other villages in the region. Girls shouldn't have to fear for their health, their well-being and even their lives because of an unnecessary procedure. Thank you for being part of ensuring that girls like Nana don't have to face this painful experience and are empowered to become leaders of change in their communities. <laughs>